I'm going to show you an AI automation that combines the power of Nano Banana, N8N, Airtable, and VO3 to create a content machine that can take any one image and turn it into hundreds of ads. In my last video, we focused on creating ads that were still images, but in today's lesson, we're going to be adding the power of VO3 to the mix so that you can create video marketing material. And with this automation, you're going to be able to do this at scale in a way you were never able to do before. So with that, let's dive into it. So here's our N8N backend that's going to be running the show behind the scenes for this automation. Now, really quickly, I mentioned in the intro that we are building upon what we created in my previous video. I'm going to link it above right now. Make sure you watch it if you haven't, because in that video, I go in depth on this whole middle portion of the automation. I go module by module, line by line, show you what you need to edit and change to make this yours. I also go through the entire Airtable setup so you can get this up and running, turning one image into hundreds of ads with a click of a button. And as always, I give you the template for free, right? Just go down to the comments, check out the free school. You can download the template, upload it. That way you can follow along and not get lost. So for today, we're going to be focused here on the VO3 workflow because remember, previously we had a single image, could be image of anything, your dog, your cat, whatever, and we turned it into hundreds of still ads, right? That's what we were doing here in Airtable. All these nano image ads, those are ads that all came from one image. Now, out of all these images, you could have made hundreds. There's probably a few that you want to turn into videos, right? We want to step up the marketing game. And this is what today's lesson is all about. And that's what this workflow does. Once we decide what images we want to turn into videos, we just click another button and it's going to go through this workflow. And in just a couple minutes, it'll populate inside of Airtable. Now, how does it do that? Well, let's say we have an image like this guy, right? We started with an Aston Martin car and it created this ad. All I have to do is come over here to the right give it a prompt and then just click create video and then the video will be automatically created and dropped back here into Airtable. Pretty cool, really easy. And again, everything is in one place. We can even take images like this one that I didn't even create using our original nano banana pipeline, but just drop it into Airtable, do the same thing, give it a prompt and it'll create really good videos just like this. So I'm really excited about this lesson. And right now what we're going to do is we are going to dive into the N8N side and I'm going to show you how everything works step by step. So first things first, the webhook, right? Just like we did before, this is all started by us just pressing a button inside of Airtable. And so to get that working, what you need to do is you need to go to production URL, copy this, go back into the Nano Banana Airtable. I want you to edit field on the create video section. And you see over here where it has the webhook, you're just going to copy paste yours in there, just like you did before. Super easy. That way, when you click this, the automation just starts working right away. From there, we're getting the image URL. So that's what's happening here. There's nothing you should really change here. Just make sure, right, like your base and your table are all set up accordingly. And so what it's doing is it's grabbing the image URL from nano image, right? So what is the URL for this? That's what it's getting. So now here's the cool part. So next it goes into a prompt optimizer. So we're using Gemini for this. And so what we're doing is it'll actually be easier if I look at some executions um, from recently. So I'll copy to editor and pin. So what this prompt optimizer is doing is it's taking the prompt that you put inside of Airtable and the image to optimize your prompt. So for example, this image, right? We're feeding the prompt optimizer the image and this crappy prompt that you probably gave it, right? In this prompt, I said, have the car in motion, quickly driving past a text overlay, and have a man driving the car. Chances are your prompt might even be worse than that. You might just say something like animated and the car goes fast, right? But we want to do better than that. And that's what this module does. So we're feeding Gemini the image and the prompt and telling it, hey, be smart and take those two inputs and come up with a better output. And you can actually see what it gave us here, right? All of this is the new prompt and it goes into a lot more detail than I did, right? Primary subject animation, you know, environmental and background animation, right? That's like several paragraphs smashed into one and the output means, and that gives us an output that's just a lot better. So that's what's happening here in the prompt optimizer. From there, we then send it to VO3 and we're sending it to VO3 via Kai.ai. Now to get to Kai AI, I put a link inside the template. You just click here and this will bring you to Kai AI. 
Now you need to create an account and you need to add some credits, add like five bucks because each VO3 fast video is 40 cents. Now, once you create your account, we're gonna need your API key. So come up to the right, go to dashboard, then down on the left, go to API key. And now I want you just to create a new API key, right? You'll create a new API key, call whatever, copy it, because we now need to connect your Kai AI account. So you'll come inside of here. You're going to do general credential type, header auth, Kai.ai, and then it's gonna be, name will be authorization and then value. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do bearer. Whoops, you're gonna do bearer. So capital B, bearer space, and then paste your API key there. That's what it should look like. Then go to fixed, save, and you'll be connected. Next, let's take a look at what we're actually passing here. So we're passing two, we're passing a few things. One, we're passing the prompt, and that's the updated prompt we got from the prompt optimizer. We're passing the image URL, and then we're passing this callback URL, and that's coming from the follow on wait node. Basically, that's just allowing us to send that request over to Kai AI saying, hey, make our video for us. And then the automation won't continue until it gets it back, right? It just simplifies the process for us. And there's nothing you should really have to touch here unless you want to play around with like the aspect ratio. So this happens, it goes to the wait node. Again, nothing you should really have to change here. Then what we're doing is we're downloading the video. So we're just putting in the URL here. Again, you shouldn't have to change anything. We move this back to base 64, and this is just has to do with some of the idiosyncrasies of using Airtable to upload images there, right? Remember, we can't use an Airtable module to upload a video or upload an image. We have to do it manually the old fashioned way with an HTTP request. So that's why we have this here. Don't need to touch anything. And then you have your Airtable upload module. Now there is stuff you have to change here, okay? Just like before, what do you need to change? Well, you need to change this. So this is coming from Airtable itself. If I go to Airtable, you see where it says, you know, app 60Z, whatever, this highlighted part up here in the actual URL, you need to copy that, come back in here and paste it in there. All right, so change that. Nothing else you should have to change. This VO3 video, this is the name of the column here that it's going to populate. If you change the name of that column, understand that you will need to change this as well. Again, same exact thing as last video when we did this with the images. And that's it. That's all it takes to actually get that image to become a video. So you've seen the final outcomes, you've seen how it's working under the hood. Now let's do it from beginning to end. Let's find one of these that we actually like, right? Um, sure, some of these are corny. I mean, like the biggest thing about this whole automation is the fact like, hey, you kind of take a shotgun approach. I have one still image I like, give me a thousand ads. There, I just need a couple that are good that I can actually use in quote unquote production. So um, this one's kind of cool. So what should we do for a prompt? We'll just say um, car speeds along the desert and jumps a sand dune. Say man in the car. That's an okay prompt, but obviously can do a lot better. But like I said, all I have to do now is hit video. The workflow started, and now we just wait. Now you can just sit here and it will automatically populate. Or what I suggest you do is you can just go back here into um, N8N, go to executions, and you'll see it populate over here on the left when it gets started. Now of note, because there's a wait um, module here and you can see it hits it right away. If you just sit here forever, it will auto refresh. So after like a minute or two, you might wanna refresh it to see if it went through, or you can just go back here and see if it populates. So. Let's wait a second and we'll see what the final video looks like. All right, so it finished creating our video. Let's take a look. Let's see if it actually jumps the dune. All right, not bad. And what I'm really interested at is like, what prompt did it also come up with, right? Because remember we uh, had it run through the prompt analyzer or the prompt optimizer. So it's always interesting to see what AI comes up with. Cause we were just like, hey, have it jump the dune. You are on the right, yeah, like way more detailed, executes a powerful controlled landing, explosive spray of sand and dust, blah, 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 blah. And now remember, like you can also edit these system prompts inside like the prompt optimizer as much as you want to get it working, whatever your particular niche is, whatever kind of feel you're going for.
So that's pretty much it, guys. In our last video, we kind of built the foundation for this content machine that's powered by Nano, Banano, and NADN. And then today, we went ahead and we added some of the video functionality. You saw how easy it is. And you can kind of see the advantages of, again, having everything in Airtable. It's really easy to change things, mess around with multiple prompts, instead of trying to run through Telegram or something like that. So, you know, hopefully this worked out for you. Again, the template will be in the school. So just go ahead, check it out. It's all for free. And as always, I'll see you guys around.